Hello, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. In the first episode we had to kick it off with the richest man in South Africa and currently the second richest with his family, on the African continent with an estimated net worth of $10.7 billion. Johann Rupert, the founder, chairman and group CEO of the Swiss-based luxury goods company, Richmond and the South African-based company, Remgro. Mr. Rupert and his family has an eventful business career that has been lucrative to him and his family. At the start of it all, he served his business apprenticeship in New York, working for Chase Manhattan and Lazard Frères before returning back to South Africa in 1979 and founded Rand Merchant Bank and the Luxury Goods Holding Company in 1988. I went and started a merchant bank in Johannesburg and we repriced 98% of the market because we only had a 2% market share and we were the most hated place on earth. Uh, we started the, uh, we call them promissory notes, but we started uh, commercial paper market and we were the kings. We had a Black and Scholes uh, student, uh, so we ran the bond market for eight years there. We call it the legalized way of transferring wealth from the relatively sophisticated to the truly sophisticated. The billionaire is the owner or has a large share in some of the biggest household names in South Africa, companies like Unilever SA, Distel Group, Salati, Five Star Maze Meal, and that is just to name a few, as this is a mini-series and we'd like to keep the videos as short as possible. But believe me, under his two holding companies, he owns many household names that we use every day. For example, Rembro has a 42% stake in MediClinic. Just to put things into perspective, we'll go more in depth when we make a larger series. Johann Rupert, the billionaire, is also the owner of the French Hoop Motor Museum, which maintains a collection of vehicles, motorcycles, and bicycles dating back 100 years. Definitely a place to go visit if you are in the area. But let's take a step back for a second before we get lost in the wealth he has acquired over the years. Johann Rupert was born on the 1st of June 1950 and is the oldest son of business tycoon Anton Rupert. Again, we won't go in depth about his family in this mini series, so stay with me. Johann grew up in Stellenbosch, Western Cape, and attended Paul Roos Gymnasium as a kid before going to the University of Stellenbosch, studying economics and company law, but dropped out to pursue a career in business. He was later awarded an honorary doctorate in economics by the university in 2004. From here on, he started building his empire to what it is today. He currently still lives in Stellenbosch with his wife, Gaynor Rupert, and the pair has three children together. Some of his charitable work includes the founding of the Laureus Sport for Good Foundation in 1990, where they fund 65 projects globally, with the goal of using sport to tackle social issues. He also co-founded the Sports Science Institute with his friend and former South African rugby player, Morn Du Plessis, and the South African scientist, Timothy Noakes. While there is a lot more to talk about regarding Mr. Rupert, we would like to keep our promise and keep this to a mini-series but with enough meat to keep you coming back to watch the next episode. Johan is an interesting and intelligent businessman, someone anyone that wants success in life or grow a business can learn and duplicate from, but for now, this is it on the episode of Johan Rupert, also known as Rupert the Bear. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and while you at it, a comment to tell us what you think about this episode and who do you think is next, but most importantly, smash that subscribe button and come back soon for a new episode.